Alicia, how do I? Okay, there it is. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh my gosh, y'all look amazing. This is a beautiful, beautiful group. And I know I didn't make my rounds yet and get my, all my hugs, but I'm not going to leave till I get my hugs from everybody. I just wanted to make sure we got started on time. But thank you all so much for being here uh, today. Um, I am Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here today on behalf of the mayor, who will speak in a few minutes, and members of city council, our city administration, uh, for today's Go Red uh, Columbia press conference. Each year on the first Friday in February is dedicated to National Wear Red Day, a day where men and women across the country are encouraged to wear red to raise awareness of the number one killer of women, which is heart disease. For 30 years, more women than men have died each year from heart disease, and the gap between men and women's survival continues to widen. 16 women die in South Carolina every day. More, than, more women die from cardiovascular disease than all forms of cancer combined. But the good news is that 80% of cardiac events can be prevented. And that's why we're here today. And that is why the American Heart Association started the Go, Go Red for Women movement to empower women to take charge of their own heart health. If we just learn to manage the risk factors under our control, our weight, our blood pressure, our cholesterol, physical inactivity, being overweight, a poor diet, smoking, blood pressure, cholesterol, and diabetes are all risk factors that we can control. And if we manage these risk factors, then that is 80% of the battle. And that's why the City of Columbia several years ago decided to partner with the American Heart Association to make this an effort of the city to make sure that we encourage women and men to take control of those heart factors. But Make it be honest, we know that women, we tend to do everything and try and be everything to everyone. And sometimes we put our own health on the back burner. But we wanna make sure here in the city of Columbia that women don't do that. They don't put their health on the back burner, but we understand that how very, very important it is to take control of that because in order for us to take care of everybody and everything else, we've gotta start first by taking care of ourselves. Since we started this, we have always had a great leader here at the City of Columbia who has always stood with us, um, especially on this day when his schedule allows, and we are pleased to have him again today. So somebody who doesn't need any introduction, but I'm so proud to welcome him uh, to bring some remarks, and that is the Columbia's Mayor, Mayor Steve, Stephen K. Benjamin. I want to thank Councilwoman Devine. This is probably one of the uh, uh, last press conferences we're going to do together in a, for a while. She's got some pressing business that she has to handle uh, uh, very, very soon. It's always a, 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 an honor and a pleasure, especially to be a man here uh, in support of this incredible uh, event. I know that Reverend Baker and EJ and Quentin, all of us, we, we, we want to make sure that you know that, that we love the women in our lives, we, that we're thankful for all that uh, all of you do every single day to make um, our lives that much better. Uh, the, um, but I, I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, show Mr. Stroman's full commitment uh, to this event. Come on in, Mr. Stroman, come on, come on. You, got, you, got, you, got, you, you, you must come in. You must come in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey, he's just sitting there, I, I, just, I just gotta. <laughs> Have a, have a sit down. He is everywhere, always in support of all things we do. I've never seen that suit though. Uh, so that, usually he's in uh, is, is C. A. Johnson uh, green. Uh, so th this must be uh, somewhere else in the closet, which, which, you're, which you're wearing, and I think representative of our collective support um, of this uh, important um, event. It's my pleasure to read the proclamation from the great city of Columbia. Whereas cardiovascular disease uh, kills one in three women in the U.S., yet 80% of cardiovascular diseases may be prevented, and whereas cardiovascular diseases and stroke kill one woman every 80 seconds in the United States, and whereas an estimated 44 million women in the U.S. are affected by cardiovascular diseases, uh, whereas 90% of women have one or more risk factors for developing heart disease or stroke, 
And whereas women are less likely to call 911 for themselves when experiencing symptoms, I'm going to read that one more time. Whereas women are less likely to call 911 for themselves when experiencing symptoms of a heart attack than they are if someone else were having, were having a heart attack. And whereas only 36% of African American women and 34% of Hispanic women know that heart disease is their greatest health risk, compared with 65% of Caucasian women. And whereas the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement motivates women to learn their family history and to meet with a health care provider to determine their risk for cardiovascular diseases and stroke. And whereas women involved with the Go Red for Women movement live healthier lives, and whereas Go Red for Women encourages women to take control of their heart health by knowing and managing these five numbers. Cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, and the body mass index, the BMI. Now therefore I, Stephen K. Benjamin, Mayor of the City of Columbia, in recognition of the importance of the ongoing fight against heart disease and stroke, do hereby proclaim Friday, February 3rd, to be National Wear Red Day in Columbia, South Carolina, and urge all citizens to show their support for women in the fight against heart disease by commemorating this day, by wearing the color red, by increasing awareness, speaking out about heart disease, and empowering women to reduce their risk for cardiovascular diseases. We can save thousands of lives each year. Uh, in testimony, uh, where have I fixed my hand in the great seal of the city of Columbia? Mm -hmm. And obviously we have our children uh, here today as well. I have three of my shadows uh, with me, Michael, Jalen, and Diamond. You guys wave, wave your hand. It's your job to take this lesson and, and, and continue to pay it forward. Make sure we go home and talk to our moms as well. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Benjamin. Um, and I was commenting to our PR director earlier that this is probably the first Go Red press conference that our city manager um, has missed since she's been city manager. Unfortunately, she has the flu, has been fighting the flu for about a week now and couldn't be here, but um, sends her support. But I also wanted to recognize our senior assistant city manager, Allison Baker, who um, is here always in support as well. So thank you so much, Allison, if you raise your hand. We are also pleased to have with us today Liz McMillan, who is the executive director of the University of South Carolina and the 2017 chairwoman of Midland's Go Red for Women campaign. And I'd like to ask Liz to come forward for some brief remarks. Thank you both so much. Um, I'm Liz McMillan, 2017 Midland's Go Red for Women chair for the American Heart Association. I could not be prouder. I'm so pleased to be here today, especially seeing all of you lovely folks in your red. You look wonderful. And helping support the Go Red movement to let people know about the dangers of heart disease. As discussed a second ago, as many of you know, heart disease is the number one killer of women. For 30 years, more women than men have died each year from heart disease, and the gap between men and women's, women's survival continues to widen, unfortunately. The Go Red for Women movement was designed to spread awareness, to encourage women to focus on their heart health, and to advocate for policies that support research and science related to improving these statistics. I feel so moved to have come into this role. I've had a friend in the last three weeks have a stroke and another friend have an open heart surgery tomorrow. So I feel I was definitely pulled into this to help raise this awareness. So many of you are in the age range um, and it doesn't really matter for women. It could happen at any age. Thank you so much for coming today to show your support for the Go Red for Women movement and a special thank you to Mayor Benjamin and Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine for taking the time to raise awareness of the importance of women's heart health. And to all you beautiful people that are here today in your red, what a wonderful showing to help move this campaign along. We hope to see all of you at the annual Go Red for Women luncheon on Thursday, May 18th. Please mark your calendar, and it'll be at the USC Alumni Center. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Liz. And I've just been informed our threesome has been completed. Every year, I know we can count on at least three men to be here. Our mayor, um, uh, assistant city manager, 
um, Allison Baker, and Councilman Sam Davis, who has been here since the first uh, press con conference we had. And I thought because we moved it from a Friday to a Thursday, I didn't see him earlier, didn't think he could make it, but he has snuck in on me. So I'm going to ask Sam Davis to please join us up here. And if he'd like to bring some remarks, please certainly do so. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, we are also very pleased to have with us um, Ms. Shakara Jones. Shakara is um, here in Columbia. She's right here from Columbia, but she is a national representative for the Go Red for Women movement, which is an honor to have one of the national representatives from our city. And so I'd like, like to ask Ms. Jones to come and bring a few brief remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank Councilwoman Devine, Mayor Benjamin, the City of Columbia, and the Go Red for Women for having me here today to share my story with you guys. Never imagine I would be standing here as a national spokeswoman for the Go Red for Women campaign. I grew up with heart disease. Sadly, two years today, I lost my mom. She was only 63 years old. As you can imagine, I was devastated. I decided to get involved with the Midlands Go Red for Women campaign and share my story. Hopefully raise awareness and inspire other women to take control of their heart health. Never realizing that my own family history was playing a role in my own. It was only after being selected as a Go Red spokeswoman and hearing more about the signs and symptoms of heart disease and stroke that I recognized the seriousness of my own symptoms I was experiencing. After finally going to the doctor, I learned that I had high blood pressure and cholesterol, just like my mother. The good news is that 80% of heart disease is preventable. We all know a lot of numbers by hearts, our cell phone numbers, our passwords. But do you know most important numbers, like your heart health numbers? I encourage everyone here today to schedule a visit with your doctor to learn your personal numbers, including blood pressure, cholesterol, BMI, blood sugar, and assess your risk of heart disease and stroke. That knowledge could one day save your life. I go red for my family. Why will you go red? Thank you. Thank you so much, Shakara, for sharing your story with us. And I think hopefully that has inspired um, everyone in here to go and check your numbers. One in three women will die from cardiovascular disease. But Go Red for Women is a movement that starts with each and every one of us. We need to lead by example and make time to know our numbers. It is that knowledge that can save our lives. So I know we've said it before, but I want to say it again. There are five numbers that every woman should know. One, our total cholesterol. Two, our HDL, which is our good cholesterol. Three, our blood pressure. Four, our blood sugar. And five, our body mass index. Knowing these numbers can help women and their healthcare providers determine their risk for heart disease, and it is time for all of us to make sure that we know these numbers. There are some other things that we want to make sure that although February is Go Red for Women Month, we want this to be something that we practice every single day of the year. And there are some other things that we want to make sure. We want to make sure that you understand your risk factors, and we talked about knowing your numbers. We want to also make sure that we take action to manage our numbers. Schedule visits with your doctor. Make sure that you are living a physical, active, healthy lifestyle. And make sure that you're working to improve your numbers if necessary. We also want to let you know the other things that the City of Columbia is doing to bring awareness around Go Red for Women. Starting tonight, City Hall will go red. Uh, we've done this for the last couple years, and so if you are in our very vibrant, famously hot downtown, please come by City Hall, your City Hall, starting tonight and every single night in the, in the month of February, City Hall will be illuminated with red lights to show our commitment to making sure that we all know our numbers and take awareness. We also, um, on Tuesday, uh, the mayor and myself will be presenting a proposed policy uh, for the city of Columbia because, well, again, we know that it starts with leadership. 
So in addition to the things that the city has done in the last couple years with our employee health clinic to make sure that our employees are um, living healthier lives and educated uh, with the Drew Wellness Center to make sure not only our employees but the citizens have access to a state-of-the-art wellness center right here in downtown Columbia. The City of Columbia will also be proposing a policy um, for our vendor policy and our food service. We're going to start with ourselves and make sure that we as the City of Columbia are being healthy. Starting January 1st, the mayor also has been leading by example, and he has gone on a journey <laughs> to, for a weight loss journey, and he weighs in at every single council meeting. Um, and so he'll be doing that again this Tuesday. Um, and then he promises by the end of this year he will be running a 5K. So hopefully some of us will be joining him as we run that 5K. <laughs> he said shirtless too, but we'll see about that. <laughs> And so these are just a couple things as your, as your city leaders that we're doing to continue to bring this issue to the forefront and make sure it's important. And we hope that you enjoy, will, will join us as we continue to bring awareness around this. We also, um, I didn't, I want to be remiss, we also um, have hired someone within the city of Columbia that will be helping us as far as educating our staff with wellness initiatives, health initiatives, and so, um, Ms. Walker, if you would just stand up so everybody sees you. We have LaShawns Walker, um, who is going to be coordinating all of our efforts internally. And I want to welcome her to the City of Columbia and thank her. And we hope other employers also take the lead, as we have done, to hire somebody to make sure that our, citizens, our, our staff is, is leading by example as well. So with that said, uh, before we take our annual picture that we will be posting uh, tomorrow again we move this press conference up a day tomorrow's go red day for really for two reasons number one is um, I had a schedule conflict and I wanted to make sure I was here <laughs> to, to have this press conference but also we want um, sometimes when people see that we have the press conference and they see the media coverage on Friday they're like oh man I wish I would have known before I picked out my outfit and went to work and so we're hoping that tomorrow people will see this today and that tomorrow everybody will wear red um, in honor of Go Red for Women Day. And so we're asking you guys to post pictures um, tomorrow, today and tomorrow for Go Red, and you will use the hashtag on any of your social media, be hashtag Go Red Columbia. Also, does the American Heart Association have a hashtag y'all want people to use? Midlands Go Red. So Go Red Columbia and Midlands Go Red, if you would use those hashtags as you post your pictures uh, to show your support and help us bring awareness around this issue. So with that said, I would invite you all to join us up here. Mr. Stroman, we may make sure you're up very prominent <laughs> um, for our annual community photo that the City of Columbia will be publicizing throughout um, the month. 